Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zen Tangle teacher. Welcome to 15 Minutes of Zen, where I guide you through creating a little piece of art using the Zen Tangle method of drawing. Today I am using a Micron PN or plastic nib pen, a Zen Tangle brand graphite pencil for shading, and a Tortillon for blending. I'm also using a two inch by two inch Zen Tangle tile called the Bijou. Today I'm going to show you a tangle called Plum Lay by Dawn Cummings and there's a beautiful variation called Floristella by Nina. If you look up both of those there's so many beautiful examples. So today I'm going to do kind of a hybrid of the two of them. Floristella has a lot of details so I'm kind of taking out some of those details. All right so we're going to start with our pencil. And I'm going to start by making a little circle in the middle of my tile. After I make that circle, I'm going to make some letter C shapes, some curves. So this one is going to go right here on top. And then I'm going to do the opposite, like a backwards C down here at the bottom. And now I need two more on each side. So over here, I'm gonna do one right there and another one right there. You want them to be fairly evenly spaced, but we're not looking for perfection. Okay, I'm gonna do two more. So one right here and one right there. I end up with kind of an octopus looking thing. Okay, I'm going to continue in pencil. I'm going to take that first letter C that I made and I'm going to make an arch that comes down. I'm losing my focus. An arch that comes down and meets that other line, forming a little petal shape. Same thing over here. Come down, make that petal shape. This one I made pretty curvy, so I'm going to change that up a little bit and come down. Come down over there. And one more. This is the time to kind of step back and look at it if you want to make any changes to your petals. Again, we're not looking for perfect symmetry. Just trying to get six cute little petals on there. Now I'm going to pick up my pen and I'm going to trace over each of those lines. Even tracing takes a little bit of concentration. Concentration. There we go. I'm using the PN plastic nib pen because it gives a nice thick line. Okay, there we go. Now that we have that inked in, we're going to fill in some of these little petals. So to do that, I'm going to start in the bottom left hand side of that first petal and I'm going to go up, but I'm going to come down just below that point. It kind of makes that letter V. And after I get to the top, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start in that little corner and I'm going to come down and end just inside of that other line. And I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to start in that bottom corner. I'm going to go up and over. And then I'm going to come down again giving that some space. 
And I'm going to do one more up there and then over. Okay, I'm going to go to the next one. Start in that bottom corner, go up, leave a little bit of a space, and come down and leave a little space. Do it again, up and down, and one more time, up and down. Mine are making these little seed pods at the end, but yours don't have to. All right, again, I'm going to start in that bottom corner and go up and over a little bit, down and over. Go back to that corner, go up and down and over. And I've got one more. Hopefully you're getting that muscle memory going. Of going up, leaving a little bit of space. I'm having room on mine to do it three times. You may have more room or less room. Up and over, down and over. Okay, one more. All right, there's how mine looks at the end. Yours might look slightly different. It's okay, I think I've made this about a dozen times and every time it comes out just a little bit different. Okay. So now I'm gonna take each of these little areas here. Sorry, I just touched my phone and made it wiggly. And inside this first one, I'm just gonna put a little curve at the top. And then I'm gonna color that in. I'm going to put a little curve on top of this one and color that in and curve that one. And then on these side ones, I'm going to come down here and make a little curve at that wide end and a curve at that wide end. Because I have this last one here, I'm going to do that same thing. Add a little curve and color it in. And color in that extra little space at the bottom. Turn. Add a curve at the top. A curve at the top. I hope that's making sense to you. And then I've got these two on the side, so my curve is going to be at the wide part down at the bottom. And then I'm just going to fill in this extra space here with black ink. Curve at the top. Curve. Curve. This is one of those that when you're done, it looks like something that maybe you could never draw. But doing it one line at a time makes it so much simpler. I am always going a little bit fast so I can get this done in 15 minutes. But feel free to pause at any time and just enjoy that process. Rounding off that top, putting in some ink. I think it looks like butterfly wings. I've got one more to do.
that darkening makes it look so delicate. Okay, mine is done. In the center here, I'm going to add a little bit of a reflection. Then I'm going to go along the outside and I'm going to aura the whole piece. You don't have to do this part. I just feel like with these mono tangles and not having the whole background filled, sometimes I just need a little bit more. So adding this aura kind of fills up some of that space. And then after I aura it, I'm going to add a couple of orbs. in a few of these little nooks. And I'm kind of thickening these up so there isn't any white space between the orb and the petal. They don't have to be perfectly even, add different sizes if you'd like. can also add a few fescue coming out. I like adding these little details at the end. Okay, I'm just going to do a little bit of shading, not very much. I'm sorry, before I shade, I need to add some more details. All right, inside these little petals, I'm just going to add in kind of that middle one, a little curve and some dots. I don't think I want to do it on every single one because I think it would make it kind of busy. I kind of like that. And I've got this little tiny one down here. I'm going to do it in there also. Okay. Now I'm going to pick up my pencil. And all I'm going to do on this one is just put a little bit of graphite all around the outside of the center circle. all around that outside. I'm going to take my torchion and I'm going to push that up and out towards each petal. Keeping the dark area in the center and letting it get lighter as it goes up that petal. It's so pretty. All right. Step back, take a peek, add maybe some little reflections in those orbs if you want, add more details on those petals if you would like, and as always, initial your work. So cute. I'm going to add a little bit of shading inside my circle. And on the back, date your work and add a little journal entry about something going on in your life. But that is Plum Lay combined with Flora Stella. Beautiful patterns. Enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me.